What's going on guys, it's Herbie. Welcome to a slightly more advanced tutorial this time. Today we're going to be discussing some more advanced PvP skill tactics that you can use in your everyday PvP depending on what game you're playing. But this will just about round with everything else. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so number one, we're gonna hop straight into what you guys want to see, especially if you're a more advanced player, which is rod tricks. Now, I'm sure you know the basic rod tricks if you're, you consider yourself a more advanced player. If you know how to rod, that is. So basically, some simple rod tricks are the one knock-up and the two-touch. So the one knock-up and the two-touch is pretty simple to do. It's when they're coming towards you, you get the one knock-up, two-touch, and then back up. Usually with the second rod. Now, keep in mind that after any of these... You can go for a combo. It depends on what you think their skill base is. If you think the the two touch is the safest one to always go for, um, for more advanced players, you can tell they're strafing, they're they're ad tapping, stuff like that. Um, what I'd recommend doing, um, this one works on a lot of players, even myself, is just one touch rod and um, hold down W and A or W and D, depending on which direction they're going or what side of their body you're on. So I chose AD, and then we could just hop from here. So usually their accuracy will be thrown off, and you could just get it. Notice how in this loop I'm using only WA and WD at the start of the combo to throw off their accuracy followed by a combo. Next, this one seems pretty simple to learn, and it's maintaining your accuracy. Now maintaining your accuracy is always, always a good thing to keep. And it's just kind of practice your mouse m move, move, what? Anyway, keep your mouse accuracy really well, so that way when you're fighting people, you can maintain combos. So, um, I maintain uh, probably 8, 7, 6, 7 or 8 CPS is where you want to be, especially if you want to maintain combos better. Um, if you're any higher than that, you'll be fine. And, uh, yeah. All right, next up seems simple to most some players, but um, play smart. Now this is a pretty simple one to think of, but just straight up play smart. If you know you're losing the fight, don't don't unless you know if unless you're in a game mode where you know you're gonna respawn or something. Play in a in in the state of mind like if I die, I'm gonna end. So what you're gonna want to do is kind of play sweaty sometimes. If you know you're gonna lose the fight, lay it, lay it. I'm, I'm winning. Let's let's say he starts winning. I'm gonna have to go sweat. He 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 got me down. I'm in a combo. I'm gonna have to play sweaty. I'm gonna play bow. And I'm gonna play slow. I'm gonna do the two touch rods. I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna do more two touch rods. And then usually you'll have an easier time winning if you just you know don't try and go for go all in all the time. It's not a good strategy. Alright, now I think I mentioned it already a couple times, but AD tapping is probably the most useful part of any PvP game, is AD tapping. It doesn't matter if you have a rod or not, AD tapping is always useful. So if you have toggle sprint, that's perfectly fine, or if you just like to hold down your sprint key, that is also perfectly fine. But you have to be sprinting, and hold W, and just tap A and D while you're comboing someone, and it makes it like twice as hard to hit them. Obviously, you might have to do it for, for longer periods of time, and if they're better, they'll probably maintain the accuracy knowing you're AD tapping. But if you just tap A and D back and forth, over and over, it's so much easier to hit them. Notice again how in this loop I'm transferring from the A and D key while also holding W to maintain a harder to hit combo. I literally killed you like so, okay you know okay this is this probably a pretty pr this isn't even PvP but try not to get mad when you're fighting toxic players like this person this guy actually isn't that bad alright now next, what you're going to want to do is just practice doing all of these things together in one. So rod tricking, AD tapping, rod, AD. Um, also, one thing is if you find that they're taking like no knockback at all, is rod mid-combo. Mid mid-combo, I want you to throw a rod. I don't want you to keep comboing. 
If you feel a pause in the fight, throw a rod. Like that. Keeps him back. Obviously, this is going to require more mechanical skill and the fact that you're going to have to have really fast hotkeys. But it is extremely useful if you can. So I'm going to try and show it off um, a lot more in this clip. Let's, let's see if we can get a bunch of rod touches. As you can see, he wasn't taking much knockback, so I rotted him once. And if you didn't know, which most people don't actually know this, is that when you rod someone and hit them within a really, really close period of time, it it occasionally has a double damage glitch. So if I rod someone and hit them immediately, it can do twice as much damage. So if I was gonna do six damage, it's gonna do 12 damage. So that's why rods are dangerous, not only for combos, but for uh, up close combat. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go listen to some music and edit this because, yeah, I have to. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any new suggestions you want me to, to make videos on or anything else, leave a comment. And I'll respond as quickly as I can. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.